beautiful people, welcome back. So for today's video, of course, we are gonna be getting into it, talking some trash, talking about my actual garbage, okay? My garbaggio. And I'm gonna be telling you all of my thoughts, opinions, if I liked it, if I didn't, if I would repurchase. There is actually a fair mixture in this one. We have a little skincare, a little hair care, and some makeup. So uh, yeah, if that sounds good to you, hang tight. Of course, we're gonna get into it. Excuse me, just calm down there, little Mr. Plastic Bag. Um, Cause we're gonna be getting into it here in just a second. But of course, before we do, I wanna take a second, pause, do my little self promo self plug. And uh, that is to let you know, hi, hello. How's it going? If you've never been here before, if you don't know who I am, my name is Paige. This is Seeking Alexandria. Welcome to the channel. Um, I do put up three new videos a week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. They usually go up right around 7, 7.30-ish a.m. my time here in good old northern Michigan, northern MI, land of the tractors, and uh, soon to be land of all the color-changing beautiful-ass leaves. Oh, 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 bitch, I'm so excited. Um, I'm sitting here living my best life. I can't wait. Uh, like, I'm, I'm waiting, okay? I'm waiting for fall. I'm not waiting for winter because winter's a little too cold, but, like, fall is... <laughs> kind of perfect. So um, it's definitely land of Northern Michigan, moral of the story. So subscribe, turn on your post notifications if you haven't done so yet. And uh, of course, the most important thing, okay, the most important thing I need you guys to take away from this video. Uh, I mean, other, you know, other than the actual content matter, of course, very important, but uh, also very important is that your girl page over here is trying to get to 10,000 followers over on Instagram. And I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would take a second, if you haven't done so yet, please go down. Everything is linked in the description box and follow me over on Instagram. You're wondering what I have to offer over there, kind of what you'd be getting. I do actually hang out on that platform a lot, so it's definitely a good place to, you know, find me outside of here, which like I said, there's three videos a week here, but uh, over there I live day to day. I do a lot of unboxings in my office because it's just, it's just kind of what I do. Um, whether it is stuff I order, whether it's, you know, clothing, makeup, whatever, PR, any anything that comes in that I think is kind of awesome, I love to hang out and, you know, and show it to you guys. Go through it, test it, swatch it, it's all the good things, and uh, it just gives us both a fun way to kind of break up our day. So I love doing all of that. By the way, pause really quickly, just something to note. Okay, I'm, I'm filming multiple, and I mean multiple, like three videos today. Um, I've been locked in this room for like nine uh, fucking hours. Okay, it's been a long day. Um, and uh, yeah, I just want to let you guys know, I just, did you see what just happened there? I just, uh, just blanked out. But um, this whole, everything that you're seeing right here, it did already go on in terms of application. I tested out a ton of new makeup, which I will link right up here if you missed it. We had Charlotte Tilbury, Urban Decay, we had some It Cosmetics, some Melt, some just, just a little bit of everything, a little bit of Nude Sticks concealer. Okay, we tested out this little bad boy. We tested out lots of good things. Why did I just feel the need to give you that one piece? I don't know. So all of that will be linked down below. You're wondering, but if you'd like to see it applied and get my thoughts on it, then definitely check the link, check out the video. And uh, also, by the way, all of this will be linked as well. I have earrings, jewelry, the whole bit. But like I have said in every video that I have filmed today, which I, again, the, the third video, I'm kind of kind of starting to space. But uh, this hoodie right here did come from, I really, I should have picked any shirt <laughs> but this one um, because this is like the only shirt that I fucking own that I can't link. But uh, yeah, this shirt came from Meyer. So unless you're like a Midwesterner and you can just, you know, walk on into Meyer's apparel section, uh, which by the way, if you're not a Midwesterner, Meyer is like a Walmart, but for like Michigan and Ohio and maybe a couple other states, like one or two others. Anyways, without all of that, you know, with all that said, done out of the way, okay, let's just get into the damn video. I'm gonna take a, take a little sip and then we're gonna get started. Ooh, get started, yeah. Oh, my parents bought me a Diet Coke and I left it out there. Mm. Oh, the level of upset that is currently happening, you guys. And I'm not, I can't get up. Because if I get up and I let myself out that door, bitch, I'm not coming back, okay? I'm just, I'm not coming back. Um, and I know myself well enough because, I mean, I'm just, I'm just, like, really ready to leave this room. Which, by the way, this room desperately needs to be cleaned. I, I, it's, you can't see it, okay? But it's just boxes and shit <laughs> right over there. Like, I'm talking a mountain. Like, I couldn't get to that side of my room. If there was, like, a burglar, ah, get over there. Couldn't. <laughs> Fucking couldn't. Would have to die, okay? Could, couldn't couldn't get in. Just could, couldn't do it. Too much shit in the way. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and kick off this video. I'm just kind of, like, rolling up, getting ready. And I'm going to, I think, start off with skincare because there does seem to be an overwhelming amount of that in here. And I'm just going to go ahead and start by picking off uh, off the top here. And that would be this Yardley box. Now, I'm just going to come right out. I told you guys a few videos ago, this is what I used. Get the fuck out of here with that fucking thing. I love that this is isn't garbage, but that little tiny thing, that definitely was garbage garbage. Um, but anyways, I talked about these in a video not too long ago, and I basically confessed to you guys, this is what I use to clean my sponges every single day. It's Yardley soap. It's so fucking cheap. It's like a dollar, buck 25, something like that. You can get it at Meyer, Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, right? I mean, I've never been to a CVS because we don't have those here, uh, but you can get this everywhere. Hell, the dollar store. Okay, I saw it at the dollar store. Not only do I use it for my sponges, obviously I use it for my hands because, you know, sometimes I like to wash my hands with a bar of soap. I like to spice it up. I feel like with Yardley across the like line, all of 
their options, I feel like they all have a really soothing feeling on my hands. And yes, I still get like that really squeaky clean feeling. They don't overly dry out my skin. And that's probably my favorite thing about these. You know, again, I use them for my sponges and they are gentle enough for that. They don't wreck my sponges. Um, but I still get like that almost moisturized feeling in my hand, which is probably, like I said, my favorite part in terms of washing them with that. But seriously, this is, it's just so good. Highly recommend. Um, and then the other thing, I mean, let's just chuck it in the trash pile with the rest of the shit. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to mention that just made me think of it, I did take out a lot of my, um, like things I've talked about a ton on here, like my simple micellar wipes, a, a lot of that stuff, because I already have so much to get through and I didn't want to have like a lot of stuff that I've talked about a million times. So that's not in this video. Maybe I'll rotate it, put it in the next one. Um, again, if you guys like this, let me know down below. Do you even like it? Thoughts, opinions. Um, but I'm going to rotate it out a little bit because I just was talking. I don't want to talk about the same shit over and over. So that's why you're not going to see any of that. But anyways, moving on to the next product here, we have this one from The Ordinary, and this is so good. This is their Glycolic Acid 7% Toning Solution. And this, oh my God, you, first of all, the price on The Ordinary, if you've never shopped this brand and you're looking for a skincare, um, I think they do have some makeup, like some foundations and stuff like that, but their skincare is so freaking affordable. And you get this giant ass bottle of toner, which lasted me forever. And it is so good. This really did help to control my acne and it just helped. Like, I don't know how to describe it other than to say it didn't dry my skin out. And like, I didn't feel like some weird, like Sahara feeling all over my face, but it did somehow like very gradually reduce the acne and reduce the inflammation from the acne, which I think is key. While at the same time, kind of going deeper into my skin, like deeper into, you know, like my skin cells and really helping to just make sure everything was clean and everything was um, getting, getting the right amount of balance. So it wasn't just so acne ridden and super duper oily. And as someone who has hormonal acne, hormonal cystic acne, regular acne, all, all the fucking acnes. Okay. I got all the sisters living on my face. Um, as someone that has all of those though, this was so good. It's super affordable. Um, so I, and you get like a shit ton of product. Now moving on to the next product. There are a few in here. I should <laughs> tell you this kind of made me think of it, but I have a few products in here that they're not completely empty yet. And that's just because they're, you know, they're just, they're just not empty. And uh, I still wanted to include them in this video because they're close enough to where obviously I know what I think of them, but also I don't want to have to hold on to these containers for multiple months <laughs> next because I'm already going to have a shit ton by then. And uh, I just wanted to like make sure I could get them in. But anyways, let's just get into it. Okay. This is the Clean Genie from Wishful. And uh, Wishful, for those of you that don't know, was a brand created by Huda, Huda Beauty, the owner. And um, this is her skincare line. And I have used, I mean, there's enough in there for like, man, maybe like three-ish days. But uh, I absolutely, absolutely love this, you guys. First of all, it has like such a nice, like light, clean, fragrant smell. Uh, but the fragrance in this doesn't bother me at all. It's very, very light. So just as a side note, um, but this Clean Genie is very impressive. Again, I've told you guys this before. I prefer oils and balms to remove my makeup. That's just what I reach for. And I feel like number one for me, the most impressive thing about this is how little it takes. Like this, I feel like I can do, like I'm gonna get my hands a little bit dirty here, but I can remove my full face. I'm talking like a full face right now, shit ton of mascara all the bit. I would say with that right there, that that actually might be a little bit much and which I know what you're thinking Paige you can't touch that and put it back in and yes I can number one because I'm gonna keep it on the side and I'll use it here as soon as I'm done with this video because I've been filming like I said for a half a century um but also number two my hands are squeaky clean because I just washed them with my yardless soap bitches but what I find with this more than a lot of others I sh I'm not gonna say all of them because you know they're not all the same but this carries with it such a lightweight feel and I can't stress that enough as someone that can't do like I can't fuck with texture um and like heaviness and cakiness on my skin. Like it, it literally makes my, my skin crawl. And this is one of those products that it takes so little and it's so lightweight that you barely feel it. Like while you're massaging it in, it feels so nice. It's slippery. It's glidey. And when you go to remove it, okay, hear me. <laughs> it does not leave any sort of like a weird film or weird, like, you know, how sometimes, oh, I don't even like talking about it. Sometimes they have like that weird, like sludgy, like thickness on your skin. And you're just like sitting there, like trying to scrape off the film that you now have in place of your makeup. Uh, yeah, this doesn't do that at all. It works so beautifully. And you know what? Now that I think of it, there's only one balm that has, for me anyways, like a similar effect that this one does. And that would be the Good Molecules Instant Cleansing, whatever, whatever. It's, I'll leave it linked down below. I think it's called the Instant Cleansing Balm. And Good Molecules, for those of you that don't know, super affordable skincare brand. And I've been a big fan. They do send me PR. So they sent that the balm I'm talking about. They did send that to me. Um, but it's just, it's absolutely beautiful. I love it. And it has that same kind of lightweight feel. 
but this one is even a little bit lighter, but, but it's also more expensive. So, you know, if you're wanting to like test out the balmy formula, I would definitely start with Good Molecules. Their stuff is super inexpensive. And then while we're still on the same train of thought over here with makeup removers, I'm just gonna throw this in here. I have talked about this before, so I won't spend a ton of time on it, but y'all, <laughs> I fucking love Tatcha, okay? Like my skin is so bougie. She's so rich. She's sophisticated. She has a Harvard fucking degree, okay? Like she's just living and thriving her best life. And this is the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. And oh my God, okay? This is so good. Like this for me, it rivals almost anything else I've ever tried. And the only reason, because I do repurchase it, you know, from time to time if I'm like feeling bougie or if they're having a sale, bitch loves a good sale. Um, So I do repurchase this, like again, on, on every once in a while kind of occasion. But I think for me, and it's so hard to describe, so you're gonna have to kind of track with me for a second. But with this, it's a very unique feeling that I get that I don't get with many other um, removers where this one, and I don't know if it's because it's an oil, maybe that's what it is, but when I am using this and I have it like all over my hands, okay, because like you take it, you pump it out, and then you do one of these, and then you start to massage it in. This is one of those products that as I'm massaging it in, I actually can feel it like almost hydrating my skin while it's removing. It's, it's it's like the weirdest exchange of makeup for light oil hydration, but it's not like super oily and when you go to wash your face, like it's gone, whatever. But it's almost like when I go in and use this, the best way I can think to describe it is that I'm getting a jump on my skincare, like when I go in with my toner and my essences and all of that, because this just starts like a pre-hydration process. And it just, I don't know, it works so well. And because it has that, like it, you'd use it before you use your cleanser. And it just gives me, what the hell is going on with this hair right here? I got like this, oh my God, I got a rat tail. Bitch, I'm always gonna have a rat tail in every video. Why are you trying to play me? From there, let's just stay on the Tatcha train with a little Tatcha essence. This is also one I've talked about, so I'm not gonna stay here for a while. But this is the Tatcha Plumping Skin Softener. And oh <laughs> my God, you guys, I have not found, like, and I'm just, this is a big ass claim, but I'm just gonna put it out there. I have never found another essence. I, and I've tried, you guys know, I'm a skincare bitch, okay? I love skincare. My skin has improved a ton. I've really learned, like, what my face wants and my skin it wants this shit okay oh oh my god um i know it's expensive to buy this essence it's like oh, 75 90 like it's ew, it's a lot okay uh so be ready to like wince a little bit but my skin absolutely love this and i'm gonna read off the back here okay it says that the tatcha essence this it is a concentration of pure micronutrients it softens and plumps the skin with deep hydration while maximizing the performance of the tatcha skincare ritual which obviously they want you to go in and use all of their skincare but which by the way, it's it's good. Like I, I love a lot of it. I couldn't think of a better way to put it to you than exactly how they put it because it really does deliver like deep hydration into your skin. And it's a different kind of hydration than I think a lot of us, myself included, ever think of. Like when I, when I would think of hydration, especially pre like being into skincare, I would always think of like, oh, like a lotion. You get a lotion, you smear it on, that's it. But that only addresses your like top layer of your skin. Like it doesn't address anything else. And with this essence, I feel like it's going down deep into all all the layers of the dermis, all the layers of your skin. And it just goes in there and it like, keeps them hydrated as they come forward because obviously our skin it just rotates all the time right so you know this layer comes forward it you know it falls off you have dead skin and there's always that new layer kind of surfacing and I feel like I can see such a difference when I'm using this versus when I'm not okay you guys so really quickly we're gonna obviously get into the next product here in a second but uh, just so you know I just had a little bit of a kerfuffle with the camera <laughs> and by kerfuffle I mean it fell the fuck over oh my gosh Oh, that wasn't good. That was really bad. That was bad. That was so bad. So if it happens to look a little bit different in terms of framing, well, I just, I apologize. But also, um, thank God my camera didn't just break because I literally would have cried. Okay. So just want to put that out there. If it looks different, there is a reason. But uh, let's go ahead here and get into the next product. And that would be from Good Molecules. And let me just put this out there really quickly, like before I get into it at all. Um, if this, if I, if, the, if I wasn't filming this video right here, this would have been in my month end favorites because I, there's actually a couple of things in here that would have been but this is so freaking good okay so let me just let me actually talk about it now um this is the again good molecules discoloration correcting serum and this freaking serum you guys it has done such a beautiful job over like my cheeks my forehead all of my like acne scarred areas and this is exactly what it says it's a discoloration correcting serum so if you're like me and uh you know you have more acne scarring hyperpigmentation that sort of stuff this is something that i've been using for oh my god what when did they send this because the, the 
by the way, I did get this in PR, um, but they sent this probably two-ish months ago, right around in there somewhere. I don't remember exactly when, but uh, moral of the story is that I used it all and it worked really nicely. I will say this is the kind of product though that if you pick it up, you wanna test it out, give it a little minute to work. Like for me, it took about two and a half, three-ish weeks to really see a difference, but that's because it's the kind of difference that happens over time. So it gradually sneaks up on you. And for me, it was kind of like while I was getting ready, you know, I'm putting on my makeup. I, I know what foundation looks like. I've been putting it on for years, you know, and I know how certain products look on my skin. And so when I was going in, I was using this all of a sudden I was like, man, I'm using less foundation. My God, I don't have as much redness. I even went up to my mom and I said, does, do my cheeks like look a little less red to you? Like, does my pigmentation look different? And she was like, yeah, your skin looks really good. Like I was just noticing it the other day. I also am a big fan. <laughs> Again, I'll just say it. Okay. I'm a big fan of the texture. It is so smooth and it like settles into the skin and it feels so luxurious. Like for me, this feels, I think this is like, I don't even know what, $10, $12, something like that. Like their, their stuff is very inexpensive. And this is so like, it feels so high end on my skin. It just, it has the most amazing silky texture to it. All right, you guys got to pick up the pace. So <laughs> I'm, I'm talking way too much here, which big surprise. But uh, next up I have this guy from Tula. This is the Tula Detox in a Jar. And this one is actually almost gone. I have about, I would say maybe like one mask left in it. This is a detoxing mask. And I actually really, really like this. And I was dead set on getting it in this video because this for me is a very gentle, um, like it doesn't, it doesn't make my skin feel super tight, but it still gets you nice and clean. Again, it does still kind of dry down. It is a mud tight mask. So there is still a little bit of that dry down, but you only wear this one for five minutes and it has the lightest dry down that I found, which I love. And it, you still get like that nice detox feeling. It kind of tightens up your pores. Again, it's not as aggressive as the Glam Glow, but it is just a nice kind of lighter detox treatment. By the way, just full disclosure, um, this was sent to me in Octoly. I don't have to talk about it for this video um, because it was from a while ago, but uh, I, I liked it enough that I still wanted to use it up and talk to you about it again because I really do like this. So here's another like newer-ish brand that I tested out. I've tested out a few things from them actually, and that would be the Inky List. And uh, again, another super duper affordable, affordable brand. Brand. And this is their C50 Blemish Night Treatment that helps reduce blemishes and breakouts. And this is a fantastic serum, like fan, fan fucking fantastic. I'm just gonna say right off the bat for me, the only thing, the only bad thing about Inky List is that I believe they are more, at least from what I'm seeing here, I think that they're based in Europe, I wanna say. And uh, let me see, oh, the UK. It looks like they're made in the UK. And um, their stuff is so good, but it is always out of stock on all the websites that sell to the US because a lot of people people over here love it. It's good, effective, affordable skincare. So of course it's going to be sold out a lot. Um, but for me, that's been the biggest bitch because I have not been able to get my hands on it since I bought this and I would absolutely repurchase this. It helped so much. You guys like this for me was actually one of those products that I feel like I used it and, and I started using it, you know, very consistently. I used it every night before bed because this is a nighttime use and this helped so much like fight my breakout. Also started to help me with like, just like the inflamed acne like the, like the faux acne, like it never becomes acne. It's just like red and hard and it just hurts and it's bleh, and it's just a pain in the ass to deal with. It started helping me with that too. And it was just so nice to have like almost relief before it was even a thing. And it just, I don't know. I feel like over the course of using this product, I noticed it helping me constantly. Like it was just, it was like a revolving door of help and it's just, it's so good. All right. So up next is a product that I do talk about again, fairly often. So I won't spend a ton of time here, but this is the L'Oreal Hydrogenius. And this is the one for oily skin. Um, they do make an oily skin, like normal to oily, and I think it's normal to dry. But this Hydrogenous, it's obviously a hydrogel. You guys, this is so freaking good. If you are someone that has oily skin and you don't want to go in with a moisturizer that's like actually like the, the moisturizing lotion-y consistency. And it really is beautiful too, because even though it feels like the kind of moisture that, um, like it doesn't sit on the surface of your skin, because again, when you're oily skinned, you don't need like more oil and more lotion and more slippy shit all about on the surface. Like we need ours to really like permeate the layers and just get down there, give us our hydration, but then like leave us the hell alone. Like that, that's kind of what we need. And with this, it is so nice because I, I can actually feel it permeate all the levels. And I, I feel like it almost, it has so much hydration that it like plumps the skin a little, but like not, and not in like a, like a plumping kind of way. Like you just, you can feel the hydration. Let me put it that way. And for a hydrogel that's from L'Oreal, like it's more affordable. I think you can even get this at Walgreens. It's just so, so good. And I'll make sure to link it again down below like everything but this it's so good <laughs> like I can't I can't recommend it enough I've had so many people tell me um that they love it and I even got my uh, my one best friend hooked 
on it because he just said like, I needed a moisturizer and this is everything I didn't know I needed. And I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm, that's right. Cause it's, it's so good. It's great. I fucking, I love it. Chef's kiss, bitch. So good. But on from there, I think this is actually the last skincare item that I have. And it is a fairly new one. It's got like a tiny bit left in it. This is the Charlotte Magic Night Cream. It's their new, um, wait, Magic Cream Light. I'm sorry. I read those in all the wrong order, but this is their new lightweight miracle moisturizer because, you know, of course she has her cult classic miracle moisturizer and she wanted to come out with a version of that that was a little bit lighter for those of us that had, you know, more oily skin. That way it was more lightweight feeling. And for me, I bought this one, which is the half an ounce. Yes. I, cause I think there's a half ounce and a full ounce you can get. And for me with this one, what I noticed is that, cause I have tried her regular moisturizer, like the regular full on miracle one. If you've tried that one, you know that it's like a very thick kind of heavyweight moisturizer. I guess the way that I would describe this is that it is about half the density in terms of like her regular miracle moisturizer. It's about half the density of that, half the creaminess, half the weight, but it still does carry with it. I, actually, because there's some in here, I can actually, you know, have a prop here, um, but it does still carry with it. Like the weight of the lotion you can see right there. It comes out as an actual white looking lotion it is still at the same time. Very, um, very, what's the word? Very permeable. Like it really does soak into the skin nicely. And I think the best way that I would describe this both in texture and in smell is sunscreen because that is what this reminds me the most of, but not like a cheap, like a shitty, nasty sunscreen. I'm talking like a, like a better, almost like higher end sunscreen, like think sophisticated kind of bougie one because, um, it definitely smells like sunscreen, like straight up smells like SPF. I'm not mad at it, bitch. I love that smell. It reminds me of my childhood, reminds me of life. Ooh, I'm not, I'm not upset about the smell. And I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this right here is kind of my issue. It has just ever so gently like a, a light kind of sheen to it. And so this does leave, whereas like I said with the hydrogel, how that one like permeates the layers and I don't notice it on the surface of my skin. Um, with this one, I do, I do notice it on the surface of my skin. And it's not that it's bad, like I'm not upset about it necessarily, but I definitely think I have other creams that I like more, you know, whether they're hydrogels, regular lotions or face creams, whatever. Um, I definitely have ones that I like better than this. So I, I'm glad that I bought it in the small size because it's nothing for me personally that I would repurchase. It's not bad and it does hydrate and you know, it, it, it is a good moisturizer, but for me, it just has like a couple things about it that they're just not my favorite, but something that I am like obsessed with. I talked about it on Instagram. Um, this is the OC blemish balm OC. It's O S E A O C. One of you sent me a DM and said, that's probably how you say it. I don't know, but this blemish balm, Oh, you guys, it is so good. Like I use the whole damn thing. I'm oh, obviously I use the whole damn thing, but it is so good. And it says on the back here, this is an ultra lightweight balancing balm that visibly minimizes blemishes and oily shine. It has USD, USDA certified organic seaweed, juniper and tea tree moisturizer that clarifies and soothes and you can use it morning and night on clean skin. And oh <laughs> my God, you guys, everything about that is so true. Okay, so number one, the ultra lightweight, this feels, so like I, I, the only way I can think to describe it is like it's a lotion, but it ha and it has like the consistency of a lotion, just like like how that Charlotte Tilbury one, how it has that um, lotiony look to it, not like a hydrogel. So it looks like a lotion, but it performs like a hydrogel, and it just helps so much with not only hydrating your skin and like really balancing it out. Like it says, it you you can visibly watch it like balance out everything that's going on within like literally three days. And I'm not being dramatic. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm always dramatic but not about this bitch. Within three days, I was like, holy shit. <laughs> I love this because I feel like it really does balance out your skin. And I, I can't think of any other way to explain it other than to say my skin in terms of blemishes, that helped get balanced. I had a lot less breakouts. My skin, like the whole time I used this, so many of you guys commented and you were like, Paige, your skin looks fantastic. Yeah, bitch, it's, it's right here. And I guess, again, guys, I love it. This is like kind of my new favorite obsession is this brand because I tested this, which obviously I love. And then something else I wanted to mention, this is their eye and lip firming cream. And again, same brand, uh, but it's this one isn't completely gone yet. I have used, um, I would say over half, like two thirds of it roughly. And you guys, this is so so good. <laughs> like I love using it on my under eyes. I actually use it. Fun fact. Um, I use it under my eyes all the way out to here and I massage it into these crow's feet. Cause y'all know I'm getting a lot of wrinkles. Not that I care, but like, you know, if we could just slow down, like just maybe uh, just pause it a little bit. Um, I'm not going to be upset about that either. So I started putting
putting it out here under my eyes and I run a little bit through right between here because y'all know I get like <clears throat> those wrinkles because I make all the faces and then because it said it was an eye and lip firming serum I also started taking it all around here and just kind of massaging it in like that whole area because again <clears throat> who makes more faces than me pretty much no one uh, but anyways I wanted to mention this because it is also really really good I've been loving it these products I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna say like you know with the other ones those are more affordable these ones are a little bit pricier this one is I think 45 and this is 60 uh, which to be fair a good eye cream is like right around 45 to 80 dollars not hell from Tatcha I think it's like 100 or 90 or something so there's definitely a wide range for that kind of stuff and this cream has worked so well I've definitely noticed a difference right through here I've noticed a difference I mean, honestly I've noticed a difference everywhere and it's just it's it's really nice all right so I need to pick up the pace a little bit let's get into a little hair care and I've talked about actually I think I've talked about all of these before so I can be a little quicker but this one is from Redken this is the Redken extreme anti snap and it is an anti breakage leave-in treatment for distressed hair now my hair snaps like a motherfucker okay I'm not even gonna try to lie um, anytime I do anything with it brush it curl it leave it alone don't look at it stare at it. I, it it's finicky little bitch okay and my hair will snap off like crazy and my friend my best friend actually she turned me on to this because she's a hairdresser and loves it and it really does make a difference in all the ways you put it in after your hair is washed it's just a leave-in treatment and it's fantastic it gives you strength that helps rebuild like the bonds in your hair or some shit I don't know and it is really good it's made a huge difference in the strength of my hair like that's just number one and it's really good I've went through several bottles fantastic highly recommend and actually you know what there's two items that aren't in here because they actually got thrown away in the real garbage I don't know how rude is that uh, but I do want to give a shout out to them because I love them and that would be the way hair it's the fine shampoo and conditioner which it's something I've talked about I'll, I'll put a picture on the screen but uh, they sell them in little bottles like little you know regular people bottles and then they also sell bigger like refill packs which for me I ran out actually of the larger refill packs because I have went through so much of that stuff it's the only shampoo and conditioner I've used in the last like six ish months and I know I've talked about it before but as someone with fine hair because they actually have three categories they have shampoo and conditioner for fine medium and thick hair I think is what it is uh is it fine is it one or two? I don't Anyways, they have multiple categories. I'll link it all down below. It doesn't matter. Um, but for me, I use the fine one because I have fine hair, but I have a lot of it. And it is one of those shampoo and conditioner sets where, first of all, they, they complement each other beautifully. Like, I love using them together because they have this way. Like, the, the shampoo for me goes in, it cleans my hair, and obviously, you know, it does all the good things. But it really does do a great job at giving me, like, this oomph and this, this like, almost like a push-up bra for my hair. Like, it just, it just cleans it in such a way that I, I feel like it it kind of makes my hair like be a little bit more flouncy a little more tossily and I really like that with this specific shampoo and conditioner set I can tell that it was tailored for my hair type and for me that's a big thing because you know when you go in with like a heavier hair product when you have fine hair like pff, bitch your hair is not gonna it's just gonna pff, it just lays straight and you can't do anything with it and you can tell with these shampoo and conditioner sets that they are really um like they're created for your hair so I just want to put that out there I love it went through it highly recommend I know I've talked about it before so just an honorable mention on that and then the last item that I have for hair no I'm sorry I have one more item for hair um, but this one is from Brio Gio this is their don't despair repair strengthening treatment oil now this one I literally just talked about in a favorites video like a month or so ago so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time here I think what makes this so like perfect for me is that it is such a lightweight treatment oil like you put it in it doesn't weigh your hair down it doesn't make it feel thick or goopy or like like stick it to Together. like it's just it goes in it kind of like a hydrogel for your face how it just permeates and settles in that does the same thing but for the hair and it just like goes in and it settles into your hair and then just kind of like like gives it just like a little ooh, like a rugged little hug and I just I really love it so I just wanted to throw it out there I, I know I talked about it not too long ago and then the last item for hair my god I've been, this video is gonna be so long uh, but the last item I have for hair this is from IGK and this is their jet lag invisible dry shampoo and I just wanted to throw this out there because this is not aggressive enough for me even in the slightest um, I just I, I use the Batiste one it's what I go through all the time the Batiste dark or divine dark or some shit because I have dark hair but for me this one just 
the long and short of it. A, I wouldn't repurchase it because obviously I don't think it worked for me. Um, it's, and it's not that it's bad. It's just that I need something that will really go in and like aggressively clean out some oil, like get some shit taken care of. And this is definitely not that, okay? It just goes in. It's a lot lighter, um, whether it's this one, because this one is technically the lightweight level, but I've tried this one and the other IGKs because I bought like a little traveler pack of them just to test them. And I noticed that none of them do it. Like none of them have like that cleany, like, oh yeah, get me scrub a dub dub, a bitch in a tub kind of thing. None of them really give me that like my Batiste does, which is super affordable. Let's go ahead and I'm going to start off with, oh shit, fuck, hold on. I have, I have one more skin carry type thing. Um, I kept going around it because it's, it's like, it doesn't really fit in any category, but this is the Grande Brow Brow Enhancing Serum. And I've been talking about this a shit ton. It's just, it's a brow serum. You take it out, um, every night it's, you know, like so, and you kind of paint it into your brows, like, you know, where you want to grow the hair. And I wanted to put it out there. Yes, I would buy it. Yes, I did buy it. It is so good. Um, I actually got one of, or actually I bought two of these on the, during the Alta 21 Days of Beauty sale. It's just really good. It has made a huge difference in my brows, but uh, yeah, I, I love this. It has worked a lot. It's really helped to grow in like my tails, especially right now for real this time, let's get into the makeup and I have three mascaras. I'm just going to do rapid fire here. First one, we have the L'Oreal Age Perfect Mascara. And this one I think is like pretty much gone, if not completely gone. Like I might have one or two more uses in this. I'm, I'm probably not going to throw it away quite yet. Um, but this is a really, really good mascara. I love it. Again, drugstore. I think you can even get this at like Walgreens, you know, that whole thing. I'll have it all linked down below. Like I've said a thousand times, but what I like about this is that this mascara actually builds on itself beautifully. And so it does a great job at individualizing the lashes, giving you a little length. And then as you go over like me and you do <laughs> 17 coats, um, this mascara does a great job at building on itself and giving you that filled out beefy kind of volume to where all your lashes, they don't clump together and just like, Ugh, like they, they don't, um, yeah, they really, they just don't clump together. That's the only way to say it. And this mascara does a great job giving you volume, giving you length and just giving you like almost for me, like a fake lash look, especially at the base of the lashes. And so I would definitely repurchase that really, really like that mascara. Um, next up here, I have the Stila Magnum mascara. This is their triple X Magnum. And this mascara, I don't have hate it. Um, but for me, the, the main issue I have, like, I think the formula is fine, but the wand on this one, if you can see it, the wand is just a little bit too beefy for me. Don't get me wrong. I like a good full bristled mascara. That's my favorite kind. But, uh, this one, it's not that it's full bristled. It's more so the issue that the, uh, bristle and the wand is like this fucking big. Like I do it and I'm just like, Ugh. I feel like I'm using a damn, like a, what, a spatula, a Coke can. Like I just have a spatula. What the fuck page? I don't know. But I feel like I'm using some big ass tool to like apply it. And if it was just like a little bit smaller, I would really be able to get in there and like get like the curl that I'm looking for, get that application. So do I have other ones I like better? Yes. So I wouldn't repurchase it, but it's also not like awful. It's not bad. I just, I wouldn't repurchase it. The other mascara I have is from YSL. This is the shock. And uh, this one, it's not a bad mascara, but for me, what I'm noticing, uh, because this one isn't completely gone either, but I wanted to talk about it because like you can hear, listen, like there's still a good snap. Like you, you can hear that there's a little, a little lubrication, if you will, still going on up in there. That sounds disgusting. Um, but this mascara for me, I, I wanted to ask, which is why I put it in this bag. I wanted to ask you guys, I know that people love this mascara. Like, like, I think it's actually Rach loves, right? Rach, Rach on YouTube. She really loves this mascara too. And I just wanted to know, does anybody else, if you've ever bought this, have you noticed that it just like gets kind of goopy, like really, really fast as I sit here and pull it in and out of the tube. The irony is not lost on me. But I feel like this mascara has just gotten so like, like goopy, like product heavy. I don't know. I just want to know if it was just me or not, because at this point I like the formula of it's fine, but I would never buy it again because it's so damn goopy and I can never get like a coating without it just like ugh, getting all over the place. So I just want to know if that's just me. Leave your thoughts down below. Now on the foundation front, I have one and this one actually isn't empty, but it is my Catrice HD full coverage. And I put this in here because I was pissed <laughs> the other day I was cleaning. I wasn't paying any attention and I actually threw my damn garbage in the garbage bucket, which <laughs> who does that? I don't know. Rude. Um, but I had an empty one of these. I've probably had two or three of them empty in the last year or so because I reach for this a lot. I mix it with everything. I love this foundation. I talk about it a shit ton, but it is just a fantastic, fantastic foundation. I 
foundation. <laughs> I highly recommend. Great stuff. Wow, I just realized, by the way, how dark it is outside. Oh my God, I've, I've truly been in here for um, a century. Okay, I better hurry up because there, this lighting is just going to get progressively worse as the video goes on. All right, so the last couple of items I have here, I have two more left in the back two, three more, something like that. But uh, we're first off, we're gonna get into brows. Now, this one right here is the L'Oreal. This is the Brow Stylist Definer. And this one I use completely, and I actually really, really like this. It's a good drugstore option. Um, I have noticed from time to time, which, I mean, it happens with a lot of brow pencils, but uh, sometimes with the Brow Stylist Definers, some of them are a little softer, some of them can be a little bit hard. But for the most part, just like, you know, kind of cutting it down the middle, running run the median, if you will, um, I really do like this as a good drugstore store option. It's a great, great brow pencil. But uh, what I really like about it is just that that nice, um, the stiffness of it is, I guess, what we're going to go with. And it has a nice amount of control, but you can still draw and still, you know, scrape it through. It has a spoolie and you can still manipulate it really well for a drugstore pencil. So I just wanted to put it out there. Of course, these ones from Benefit, I go through these, you know, fairly regularly because I use them a lot. But and P.S. again, full disclosure, these were sent to me from Benefit. But this is the Precisely My Brow Pencil. This is in 3.5, which this one I think still has like maybe a day, maybe two days left on, so I won't get rid of it yet. And then this one where all of the writing has completely come off, this is the Gimme Brow Gel. And I think this is in like four, 4.5, something like that. I just love this combo, use it every day. I'm not gonna talk about it, but just want you guys to know, use it, love it, fantastic formula, texture, all the good things. And uh, the Gimme Brow is a really good, like kind of like a fluffy brow gel. So I love reaching for it. I love the precision tip on this. Just like with L'Oreal, it's my favorite kind of tip. Mwah. Chef's fucking kiss. It's so good. All right, you guys. And from there, we are officially and finally, <laughs> finally down to the last two products. And uh, the first one, they, we're, they're both concealers. Just spoiler alert here. First one I'm going to talk about, this is from YSL. And this is their All Hours Concealer in the shade 0.5. And I have went through pretty much this entire thing. It looks like I could maybe scrape the sides one more time. But I talked about this concealer a while ago and how it was like my daily go-to for covering up any little like blemishes or just like little red spots on my face in general. Because this concealer, you guys, it is literally my skin tone in the winter. And like putting it on right now, I don't think you can see it quite as well. But this, putting it on my face, like again, no makeup and then blending it in, you literally can't see it. And it gives me the most beautiful texture. It sits wonderfully under like my foundation, all my other makeup, what have you. And it has like a nice light satin finish and it gives me a nice little like medium coverage moment. So for me, I would reach for this every single day just to lightly kind of dab over my red areas, again, acne, whatever. And it would give me a beautiful, you know, texture that I could work with. And it would give me the coverage in those areas, which is what I really, really needed. And then the final, 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 finally, <laughs> finally done product here. This is the Hourglass Concealer. And you guys, I love love this concealer. Oh my God, it's so good. This is in the shade Birch and this is their Vanish Concealer. And I don't even know if there's any in here that I can like <laughs> do a swatch with it. Um, but this has, oh, there is. Oh, fuck. I just oh, love this concealer. This concealer has such a beautiful texture to it. So first of all, has beautiful coverage. It blends really, really nicely. Like a satin kind of finish on the skin. And it like, I can't even, like, I have to smile when I talk about this concealer because it is so beautiful. And for me, what I've noticed is that it just works so nicely on my under eye. It works well with a ton of powders. You get beautiful coverage and you don't have to use a lot of it, which I think is great because your under eye doesn't cake up a ton, which again, always a bonus. Um, but you can also, you know, build it up if you want to and get a little bit more coverage and blend it out, you know, all over the face, which I, truthfully, I've worn this like Scott Barnes style before and it looks gorgeous on my skin. I think another thing too that works really well with this concealer is that it has almost like a, when, you, when you're spreading it out, it almost has like a gel consistency to it. And just like overall, the whole thing works really well. I, I, again, I've talked about this a million times, but all right, you guys, with that, we are officially done with this video. Again, I know it was super long, but uh, I hope that you liked it. Let me know down below if this is helpful. Do you like these? Do you still want to see them? Um, I, I don't do them as often because I'm never really sure, like, you know, what people think, how you're kind of feeling. Uh, what, was, what was that? I don't know. Um, but you guys can let me know down below if you still like them. Again, all of your thoughts would be welcome. And then, like I said, of course, at the start of the video, you can subscribe, turn on your post notifications before you leave. And of course, of course, go follow me over on Instagram. I would greatly appreciate it. Again, everything. If you want to shop me, my face, if you want to shop me, Ooh, that's a little bit, a little bit weird. Uh, but if, if you want to shop, you know, anything on my face, my jewelry, whatever's going on, any of these, um, or check out anything else that I have listed, mainly my Instagram, I will have it all linked down below. Again, thank you all for being here. I really appreciate it. And I hope that you all have an amazing day, night, weekend, whatever it is when you're watching this. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Ah, stop it. Stop. Okay.
Listen, Linda. Just tell you, okay, I'm just, okay, let me just get this fucking hair off my nose and then I can actually concentrate on the world. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. And the only, Jesus motherfucker, that scared me. 